Turkish Air Force A-400 TUAF-735 airborne from Yevlok, Azerbaijan. Turkish Air Force 4-engine turboprop military transport A-417078, flew from Yevlak's AFB Azerbaijan to Diyarbakir. Azerbaijan MOD, Armenian Armed Forces committed large-scale provocations along the entire length of the front, there are casualties among civilians. Armenian Armed Forces today early in the morning started to attack Azerbaijani villages and civilians along the line of contact. Casualties among civilians and militaries are reported. All responsibility lies on the political military leadership of Armenia, Azerbaijan. Pashinyan reported on the offensive of the Azerbaijani Armed Forces on Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan launches massive bombing of Nagorni Karabakh. Karabakh forces shoot down two Azerbaijani helicopters, Armenian separatists. Armenian TV anchor Artak Harakian posts a video from Kankadi, Stepanakert, where a civilian building is shown with traces of shelling. Also at Daranas 666 posts a video, which he says if from a region close to Nagorno Karabakh capital. Video from Kankendi, Stepanakert confirming damage of civilian structure in the city. Armenia Mod, Azerbaijan suffers human and technical casualties, including three tanks. Armenia MFA, FM in constant touch with OSCE Minsk Group co-chairmanship. Armenian MOD spokesperson, Armenian Army, separate from Karabakh Army, has shot down an Azeri drone in the northeast of the country. Though no location given probably near the recent cross-border clashes in Tavish. Video of what looks like shrapnel damage to a residential building in Kankendi, Stepanakert. Users in Azerbaijan reporting extremely slow internet connection after military started offense against Karabakh. Azerbaijan shelling Kankendi, Stepanakert in Nargorni Karabakh. The Azerbaijani armed forces are bombing the city of Martuni. Residents are in basements. Other settlements of the border points of Nagorno Karabakh are also subjected to shelling, as well as Hadrat. Azerbaijan says launched counter-offensive after Armenian attack, Defense Ministry. Armenia's Ministry of Defense confirms that in addition to the two helicopters and three UAV drones, Azerbaijan has also lost three tanks. Azerbaijan's attacks on some parts of the border have been pushed back. Battles are still ongoing. Armenian Armed Forces hit the enemy's UAV in the northeastern direction, Press Secretary of the Ministry of Defense Shushan Stepanyan. Ministry, Azerbaijan Army's troops launched a counter-offensive operation along the entire front. Azerbaijani helicopter was shot down in the Tartar direction, the crew members are alive. Twelve OSA anti-aircraft missile systems of the Armenian Air Defense Units were destroyed in various directions. Presidency of the Republic of Azerbaijan, we strongly condemn Armenia's new act of aggression against Azerbaijan. Armenian MFA, early this morning, the Azerbaijani side launched missile attacks along the entire line of contact targeting also the peaceful settlements, including the capital Stepanakert. Nagorni Karabakh President Arya Karatunyan dressed in military fatigues seen this morning in Kankendi, Stepanakert states, if Azerbaijan declares war, it will get war. The Armenian armed forces are shelling the village of Gapanli, Tartar region.
Authorities in Karabakh are urging residents to not leave their homes and take shelter as shelling from Azerbaijan intensifies, including in the capital of Kankandit Stepanakert. Ilham Aliyev will address the nation live soon. As a result of Azerbaijan shelling a woman and a child were killed in Martuni region of Nagorno-Karabakh, two civilians are wounded. Some schools have been also targeted. There are other civilian casualties, too. Armenian military on the move, preparing for counterattack. Armenian forces destroyed two Azerbaijani tanks on Nagorno-Karabakh frontline. Turkish presidential spokesperson Ibrahim Kalin, reacting to clashes at Nagorno-Karabakh, said, We strongly condemn the attack of Armenia against Azerbaijan. Tonight a Turkish Bayraktar TB2 UAV was orbiting near the Armenian border. Nagorno-Karabakh authorities declare martial law and mobilization. Russian Foreign Ministry calls all parties to conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh to calm down and start talks. Russian Air Force contractor 224th Flight Unit Massive Heavy Lifter Antonov and 124-100 Ruslan NATO Condor RA-82015 flew round trip between Rostov on Don Plotov and Yerevan's of Artnots. Azerbaijani president addressing nation, Aliyev informs people about early morning attack by Armenian forces, says there are casualties among military and civilians. Aliyev says Azerbaijan won't attack Armenia, there are no targets of Azerbaijan in Armenia, about July attacks. He says Armenia wants to capture more territories of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani army does not fire at civilians and facilities of the Armenian side, press service of the Azerbaijani Defense Ministry. Aliyev says Azerbaijan will never talk with Nagorno-Karabakh, calls it puppet military junta. Azerbaijani President Aliyev, Armenia is trying to settle illegally in our occupied territories. At Armenia Mod team says, it's unacceptable to publish Armenia military equipment movement photos or videos. Video, Armenian troops fired mortars at the location of the TRT News and Anadolu Agency team. Three mortars fell within 100 meters of the TRT and AA team. Armenia is considering the possibility of declaring martial law and partial mobilization due to the escalation in Karabakh, Pashinyan. Armenian MOD published new video showing Azerbaijani IMR-2 engineering, recovery vehicle and another T-72 tank undergoing ammo burn. At Nicole Pashinyan says we'll meet with Security Council meeting shortly to discuss possible war declaration and mobilization. CSTO stands for Peaceful Settlement of Conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, Statement. Azerbaijan Ministry of Defense, units of the Azerbaijani army are fighting for important heights under the control of Armenian troops in the direction of Tartar Agdam, Fuzuli Jibrail and Muravdag. Armenian government declares martial law in the country and general mobilization due to events in Karabakh, decision. Six civilians injured as a result of Armenian shelling, Prosecutor General's Office of Azerbaijan. PM Nicole Pashinyan has just announced that martial law and general mobilization will be declared in Armenia. The decision will enter into force once it is publicized. I call on the auxiliary forces to report to their regional military commissariats, he wrote. Armenia Defense Minister David Tanoyan says, Our response is going to be as tough as it has never been, will lead to heavy consequences for Azerbaijan. Ten servicemen killed as result of Azerbaijani attack in Nagorno-Karabakh, Nagorno-Karabakh authorities. The Armenian military destroyed two more T-72 Aslan tanks, video by Ministry of Defense. Aggression by Azerbaijan was planned in advance, Armenia PM Pashinyan.
Turkish Defense Minister Akar, Armenia attacked Azerbaijan with a violation of the ceasefire and again showed that it was after a provocation. The biggest obstacle to peace and stability in the Caucasus is the aggressive attitude of Armenia and it must immediately cease this aggression that will set the region on fire. Azerbaijan targeted also Republic of Armenia city of Vardinus. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavusolu had a phone call with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov. Clashes in Nagorno-Karabakh discussed. Press Secretary of Nagorno-Karabakh President Varum Paghosian denied reports of loss of 10 people. Russian FM had a phone call with FM of Armenia, discussed escalation in Karabakh. President Ilham Aliyev hold the extraordinary session of the Security Council of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Charles Michel, reports of hostilities from the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone are of most serious concern. Military action must stop, as a matter of urgency, to prevent a further escalation. An immediate return to negotiations, without preconditions, is the only way forward. Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense announces control over Karazandili, Krung, Kent Horides, Boyuk Merjanli and Nuzgar villages in Fuzuli Jabrail regions. Unknown Turkish military UAV tactical call sign CENAH01 tracking over Armenia. Turkish President Erdogan had phone call with Azerbaijani President Aliyev. Russian Foreign Ministry, the foreign ministers of Russia and Turkey stress the need for an immediate ceasefire between Armenia and Azerbaijan. During today's Sunday Mass Pope at Pontifex addresses parties to stop violence in Karabakh. Phone call between the Turkish and Azerbaijani defense ministers. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine is concerned about the deterioration between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Nagorno-Karabakh authorities denied reports by Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense about control of six villages, accuses Azerbaijan in disinformation and propaganda. National Assembly of Azerbaijan to gather for extraordinary meeting at 4 p.m. Baku time. The statement issued by the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan that the Azerbaijani army allegedly occupied six settlements does not consistent with the reality. It is yet another information provocation of the Azerbaijani propaganda machine, Maud of Armenia, press secretary. Azerbaijan Maud releases video reportedly showing drone attacks on Armenian military equipment positions. At a meeting of the Security Council of Azerbaijan, Defense Minister Zakir Hasanov announced the control over the village of Yukari Abdulrahmanli in the Fizuli region. Russian FM Lavrov, in a telephone conversation with the head of the Azerbaijani Foreign Ministry, expressed concern about the ongoing shelling in Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijani media report of the death of Lt. Col. Memon Mirazizo Lu Shirvanov, born in 1980. Azerbaijan Defense Ministry announces control over another village, Asagi Bidormanli. PM Pashinyan signed a decree on the introduction of martial law in Armenia. Social media and communications platforms restricted across Azerbaijan following clashes with Armenia over Nagorno-Karabakh. Real-time internet measurement data show impact to cellular fixed lines incident ongoing. Azerbaijan can also attack the territory of Armenia. Therefore, it was decided to introduce martial law in the country and declare mobilization, Pashinyan. I call on the international community to make it impossible for Turkey to get involved in hostilities, Pashinyan. Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense says they are offering surrender to Agder, Martekert Garrison, if there is resistance, every armed person will be neutralized by us. Azerbaijan declared war on Armenian people, Pashinyan. New massive clashes between Armenia and Azerbaijan do alert me. I call on the parties to immediately stop all acts of fighting and especially the shelling of villages and cities. The conflict over the Nagorno-Karabakh region can only be resolved through negotiations. FM at Heiko Moss
Armenia's Prime Minister's spouse Anna Hakabyan and First Lady of Nagorno-Karabakh Mrs. Haratunyan visit the soldiers wounded as a result of Azerbaijani attack. All gov.az also websites are down including mod.gov.az and edu.gov.az. Due to the military situation, curfew will be declared in Baku, Ganja, Goigal, Yevlok and some regions from 0 hundred tonight. Parliament. Foreign Minister of Lithuania at Linkovich SL, as well as Estonia's FM at Irmas Riansalu have had telephone conversations with Armenia's FM at Zin Natsakanyan, who briefed his colleagues about situation after full-scale attack by Azerbaijan along the lock with Nagorno-Karabakh. Video, Azerbaijani drone shot down in the sky over Kankandit Stepanakar. PM Pashinyan speaking at Parliament, the recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh independence is on the agenda of our government. Deputy Minister of Defense of Nagorno-Karabakh Artur Sarkisian, 16 dead and about 100 injured on Armenian side to the moment. Internet reportedly restored in Azerbaijan. There have been several reports from Azerbaijanis on social media that the internet has been restored. New video from ASMOD of targeting of Armenian positions. Russia President Putin and Armenia PM Pashinyan discussed clashes over the Nagorno-Karabakh region in a phone call, the Kremlin said in a statement. It noted that it was important not to allow further escalation of the conflict and it was necessary to halt all military action. New video 5 shows large column of Azerbaijani IFVs made up of BMP-3s and BTR-82 as taken out by Armenian fire. Azerbaijani BTRs, BMP-3 armored fighting vehicles destroyed by Armenian fire. Ilham Aliyev signed a decree on the declaration of martial law in Azerbaijan from September 28. Azerbaijan declares control of a strategic area in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Cyprus declares its support for Armenia and calls on all parties to resolve the conflict in a peaceful manner. Cyprus holds Azerbaijan responsible for the escalation in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Again 2x Turkish UAVS tracking near Armenian border. Dassault Falcon 7x9H ZSN from Moscow descending for Yerevan Armenia. Turkish FM at Mevlut Kavusolu, Turkey stands with Azerbaijan on the field and at the table. Putin calls for an end to the confrontations in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Armenian news website News.am was hacked earlier today. During this time, an article which falsely claimed that Nicole Pashinyan called on Armenians to flee Nagorno-Karabakh was published. Five dead from one family as result of shelling on Kashalti village in Naftalan district of Azerbaijan. The presidency in Azerbaijan declares martial law and a curfew in several cities, including the capital. Pashinyan, in a phone call, highlights that foreign forts should not be involved in the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, press service of the Cabinet of Ministers. A telephone conversation took place between the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan at Bayramov underscore Jehan and the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy at Josep Borrell F. NATO is deeply concerned by reports of large-scale military hostilities along the line of contact in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone. The sides should immediately cease hostilities, which have already caused civilian casualties. There is no military solution to this conflict. The parties should resume negotiations towards a peaceful resolution. NATO supports the efforts of the OSCE Minsk Group. President Ilham Aliyev, the Armenian leadership is deliberately provoking us, and they will see the consequences.
Authorities in Nagorno-Karabakh deny that Azerbaijani army took M11 highway Vardinus Martakert under control. Armenian military says that clashes in Nagorno-Karabakh ongoing report at about 9 p.m. Yerevan or Baku time claim significant losses of Azerbaijani army. Armenia says it is investigating information about the participation of Syrians in the fighting with Azerbaijan in clashes in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Head of Nagorno-Karabakh at meeting of Security Council confirms Azerbaijani army advance on positions near Talish and in the south. It is not only Azerbaijan is fighting with us, Turkey is also fighting with us. Modern Turkish weapons are being used, drones and airplanes, head of the Nagorno-Karabakh authorities. Azerbaijan uses F-16 planes and Turkish Bayraktar drones, head of Nagorno-Karabakh authorities. Kim Kardashian, call upon Baku to cease all offensive uses of force, cut off all U.S. military aid to Azerbaijan being used against Armenians and warn Turkey to stop sending arms and fighters to Baku. Armenia claims 35 Azerbaijani armored vehicles, tanks and 28 drones destroyed. The Azerbaijani armed forces tried to capture Mount Marav, but the attempt was repulsed. The mountain is under the control of the Armenian side. The Iranian foreign minister discusses by phone with his Azerbaijani counterpart the importance of stopping the battles in Nagorno-Karabakh and heading for dialogue. Pashinyan held a meeting with the country's top military leadership. UN chief calls for immediate end to fighting over Nagorno-Karabakh.